Hey guys, so in today's video I'll be showing you how to do this effect and more specifically I'll be showing you how to draw and write on your footage in DaVinci Resolve 15. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so we have our footage in DaVinci Resolve 15 here. Now we are using the uh, DaVinci Resolve 15 public beta and we're using the free version. So everything you'll see in this video you can do on the free version and you don't have to spend like £200 to get the studio version. It's all in the free version. Okay, so I'm going to do a basic edit of this before I actually uh, uh, edit it and put in the drawings of it. So, yeah, basic edit, cut down the parts that I don't like. And I just trimmed it up a bit. Okay, so the first step to do this effect is just to cut out the parts that you want to actually use and select them. So here I have this bit, so I want to have it so I think it goes up, and then just before that I want to use that bit there. So there's that clip which I want to put into fusion, and then there would be where the effects goes. Oh yeah, I probably need to. I'm right, showing you how to draw and what. Yeah, so the draw and write on your footage. So yeah, there it is. So there is. I'm just going to highlight the clips. So press A. It isn't. Yeah, I'm not. And I'm just going to highlight the clips, just to make it easier for you guys. So I want this clip in uh, DaVinci Fusion, and also this clip to put into Fusion, and then there's also. And then there's this also this final clip here, which I'm going to put in fusion into fusion as well. But I'm going to do it all separately. So you pretty much hover your like line thingamajiggy. I kind of forgot the proper name for it, but yeah, you hover that over the footage, and then you just press press, and then just press onto the fusion um, tab, and then it appears here. Now the way that fusion works is by having a media in and a media media out, and pretty much between there is where all the special effects happen. So I'm just going to like arrange tools to grid just to make it so they like stick and make it a little bit more organised. But there, we're not going to do much uh, this bit, we're just going to add in one more tool. So you can either right click on your mouse and go to add tool and then go down to paint here and then click paint. And that's how you get, uh, and that's one way of getting it up. Of what, or you could search up by pressing control space and then just type, type in, and then just type in paint and then it will come up as well. And then you double click on this line here, you drag the media in up into the paint and then the uh, media out from the paint into the media out. So you have, so it all actually happens in the shots you have. So now you click on the paint node, you go into your inspector which is up here and you're able to like change the colour and like do all the things that you want. So I'm just going to pick a colour that's like different to the background. So like a pinky, maybe like pinky ready colour because I don't really have much pink or red in my room. And then you're able to like change everything here. So the way that you apply it to your footage by, is by using the arrow keys, which go frame by frame through your shots. So I'm going to have it, so, and then you click up here on the uh, paint tool up here, um, and then you just pretty much use a, your arrow keys to get to the frame, and I want to have it, so go like that, and then I do draw the three lines. God, my voice. <clears throat> and then you press the arrow key again to the next frame. Draw the three lines again. Now you can do whatever drawing you want, but just keep it consistent because otherwise it would just look a bit odd. Yeah, and I'll, also I'm going to use it in like the sim, same place, kind of. So if I go back here. Yeah, that looks alright there. So you can see, and then you have the light, and then you have the, look, there. Yeah, so you go frame by frame, draw in the lines, and you can like change the colour for each one. You're able to do a load of cool things with it, but for this one I'm just going to keep the same colour. Now if you have a digital like pen thing that's plugged into your computer, it's going to make it much easier, but because I'm using a mouse, it's not going to look as good and it's going to be a bit harder, but still, it looks rather alright, I think. Now you go back into your edit and just pretty much you just watch through it again and it just needs to render a bit. Yeah, so now if you watch this, I'm talking but it's on mute and then there, you have your effects there. And you can and you can see that 
frame by frame, it's different lines. Click. Yeah. I just want to see what it's like with the music. I'm. Yeah. Facts. I'm. Yeah. So that looks pretty cool. Okay, so I found a really good example about like where this it, this feature is actually used, and pretty much this is in the Justin Bieber "What Do You Mean" lyric video from like back in like 2015. But uh, the, if you see here, they like uh, like draw on it, and it just looks rather cool. So like you see here, that each individual frame is a different uh, picture, is a different like drawing. So if I like go back here, like. Yeah, so you can see that they just draw on it there, and then each of these here is just a, a different uh, different drawing, but it's, they use the same sequence of three lines. And that is how you draw on your footage. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want some more of these uh, videos, comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you on Monday. Goodbye.